Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm here to talk about um, love and self-love is the topic for today. So I'm going to read some quotes and I'm going to uh, read some things I wrote down while I was thinking about this topic. Love recognizes no barriers. It jumps hurdles, leaps fences, penetrates walls to arrive at its destination. Full of hope. Maya Angelou. Yeah, that's from one of her poems. And then this is what I thought when I heard this quote. It's okay to give love and you don't get the same gratitude when you give love. from. And if you don't get the same gratitude, it's okay because that was a lesson waiting to be unfolded. Sometimes, you know, really to me, a love relationship is sometimes like um, someone loves someone more than the other. So you can love this person 100%, but they love you 110%. You, you know what I mean? That's usually how love is. Somebody is working harder. Somebody is sacrificing more. And it's snowing outside. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's good. Life is the flower, which love is the honey. Victor Hugo. Yeah. <clears throat> Never be ashamed to love someone or something. Love with all of your being. You can learn more giving love rather than hatred. Yeah. To me, in my opinion, I feel like you can love more than showing hate. Or giving hatred to somebody. To love and be loved is to feel the sun from both sides. David Viscott. Yeah. Got to read that again because that is a really good quote. And I'm wearing Snoopy. Yeah, to love and be loved is to feel the sun from both sides. David Viscott. You should check him out. I think he's an author, but I found some of his quotes and I thought it was pretty, pretty dope. Love is the whole thing. We are only pieces, Rumi. Yeah. And sometimes you got to put multiple pieces together to be a whole, you know, with someone else or with something that you love. The only thing we never get enough of is love. And the only thing we never give enough of is love. Henry Miller. Yeah. We never get enough love. That's what we feel like. We, we always need more love. And we never give enough love to other people. You know, sometimes to uh, feel loved, you got to give other people love. You know, it, to me, sometimes because, you know, happiness is an, emo is an emotion and you can decide your emotions. You can decide and react angry at a situation or you can be calm towards a situation that you didn't expect or you didn't want to happen. So I feel like if you. If you want happiness, sometimes helping others can help you seek your happiness or seek that emotion. And, you know, I only record videos when I'm feeling happy or I feel like I want to um, make someone else feel better. Because, you know, right now I feel like I'm a 70. I'm at a seven, seven out of 10. It's not the best day, but it's not the worst day, you know. So sometimes if you feel like you don't have enough love in your life, maybe you need to give people love instead of waiting for someone to give you love. You know, that's what I think. That's why I chose that quote. Love does not dominate, it cultivates. Johan Wolfgang Van Gogh. I think Van Gogh, that's how you pronounce his name. Yeah, that's a good quote. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength. While loving someone deeply gives you courage. Lao Tzu. Yeah, and I I wrote it on these little positive, negative little art things. See how it's like a rainbow? I wrote it on most of these things. So yeah, either I either it's off the top. Well, all of it is off the top. Either it's off the top. Or I wrote it down on the index card, or I'm gonna be using these now. See, it's pretty cool to me. Let me know what you think about these little cards. But yeah, this is this is the little last thing I would want to say to somebody who needs help, or who feels like they don't have enough love or self-love. 
Do you love yourself? And be be genuinely honest, you know. Do you feel like you love yourself? Do you accept yourself and your journey? Do you feel like you can accept love from others? And I'm not talking about people you already know, I'm talking about from strangers. People you, you, you met, you can run into in the store or something. Do you feel like you can accept love? Can you accept things that you didn't mentally prepare for? Is it okay to have heartbreaks? Is it okay to break your own heart? Cause you know, sometimes when you think you love somebody and you break up with them or you just stop talking to them, maybe you broke your own heart, but you know, people don't consider it that way. Sometimes, well, yeah, in the past I've done that. Like, talk, talk to this girl and I kind of just like ghosted her. I know that seems really bad, but yeah, I ghosted her. And then she kept calling my phone and I was like, yeah, we can't, um, we can't talk no more. Cause it doesn't feel genuine, you know? So I don't want to fake, fake vibes. So I was like, yeah, we just can't talk no more. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, we can't talk no more. It doesn't feel genuine, but yeah. Let me know how you're feeling before and after you watch this video. Stay safe. Yeah, always stay safe. So stay happy, stay ambitious, and stay resilient. Those are all your choices. You don't have to be happy. You don't have to be resilient. And you don't have to stay ambitious. But it's your choice to, to react the way you want to react. You can react angry. You can react sad. It's all up here. So, bye. All love.